OK, so good afternoon all. So once again, my name is Ayo Deji for learning. And today we'll be going into what we call data gateway. So when we talk about data gateway is a very big issue that most of us, we people have been calling, asking different questions around having their data refresh on the platform. And sometimes when you deploy a solution for an organization, and that solution is actually on the on a browser. So you want the browser to automatically refresh itself. And lately we found out that when we try to share some of our files with our colleague, before you can usually share to web, but now it will tell you that it has been disabled. You need an administrator to help out around that area. So what we are going trying to do now is we want to show us how to actually solve all these problem without any stress. So let me go straight to my slide. Let me share my screen with us. OK, I guess we can see my slide. Please confirm if you can see my slide. Yes, you can see your slide. Your slide. OK, thank you very much. So today we are looking at data gateway slash do refresh. And our guest speaker today, very unfortunate, she won't be able to make it. She's in another section, thinking she would have finished by now, but she's still there. But if she finished, she will still join us. So her name is Olana Ogbena, and she is very, very good in Power BI, AI, data generally. And in place of the speaker for today, myself and Toby Kazim, we actually stepped in to, to save the day. And what are we talking about? We are looking at data gateway, scheduled refresh. Now, when we talk about data gateway and scheduled refresh, what exactly are we looking at? We want to look at the following content today. Let's understand what gateway really means. Number two, let's see how gateway works. Number three, let's see how to install, configure on-premise data gateway. Let's see how we can schedule refresh. Let's see how we can publish your reports to the web. And by the time you have this report on the web, despite the fact that your database is being refreshed, your gateway is doing its work, your schedule refresh on Power BI is doing its work, the page that you are seeing, because the page has been opened some minutes earlier, that page remains the same. That page is not refreshed. Let's see how we can actually do what you call web page refresh on different browsers. So let's start by looking at the first topic. Our first topic says, what is Microsoft Data Gateway? Data Gateway is a generic name, but I'm bringing this down to Microsoft Data Gateway. So the on-premise data gateway acts as a bridge. It provides quick and secure data transfer between on-premise data, which is data that is not in the cloud, and several Microsoft Cloud services. These services include Power BI, Power App, Power Automate, Azure Analysis Services, and Azure Logic Apps. So these are all the things that can actually benefit leverage on Data Gateway. So let us go into how Data Gateway works. So this way Data Gateway works. In the organization, you can have your database I don't care what database you run in the organization, be it IBM DB, be it SQL Server, be it Microsoft Access, be it Oracle, be it Excel, 
whatsoever database you run in the office, just make sure that that database is actually connected into your data. I mean, that database is configured on your on-premise data gateway. Once you can configure all these database, your gateway can see the database, then that gateway will make the database available to the Power BI web service. So that whatsoever you share with people, they can easily see what you have and they can flow and have the most recent data on their screen. Let me show you this illustration as we have it here. This is the database you have in your office. That database, you have used Power BI desktop to do a wonderful visualization as a developer. And what you have, you want to publish it to the web. Most of the time, we, we publish it to our web Power BI service. When we publish it there, the date you publish that database, that is what you keep having on the web. So you cannot have an updated data on your visual visualization. So what, what you need to do, if you don't want to use a gateway, you must come back to the Power BI desktop, refresh your work and publish again. You cannot keep doing this every hour for 24 hours for 365 days in a year. So you need the help of on-premise gateway that we see your database and make that database available to Power BI service in the cloud. So once you have this running, then no problem. The next thing you need to do is to publish this information for people to see either via mobile phone, via laptop, on web browser, anywhere you want them to see it. So this is just a simple illustration of how the Power BI Gateway works. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is how do you install and configure this on-premise data gateway? So I'm going to quickly show us how to do this. It's just very simple and straightforward, about four steps. One, two, three, four. The first step is to download and install the gateway. Second step is to configure the gateway. Third step is to add the admin. And finally, is to start using your gateway. You just go back to your Power BI web service and start using that gateway. So let me go back to my browser. OK, where is my Power BI screen here? OK, so this is a report on my Power BI screen. So this is not Power BI desktop. As you can see, I am in the web service. Now on the web service, if you look at the top here, you will see this drop down arrow called download. When you click on download, you can download Power BI desktop. You can download data gateway. Where I'm going to is the data gateway. Now, when you click on data gateway, you can get it, but let's be conscious of the two options given to us. You have download standard mode, download personal mode. Please, I will recommend you download the standard mode. If you download the personal mode, that is called Power BI Gateway Personal. It can only be used by you. You can use it to publish your report, do everything you want to do, but you cannot share that report with anybody. You are the only one that can feed on that report. So what I would recommend you download is the standard mode. Now, let me download this. So I just finished downloading now. Great. This is the downloaded version of the gateway. I want to set it up now on my system. Okay, as you can see, I downloaded just a minute to 3 p.m. So immediately I got the information that uh, the speaker will not be able to come up. I have to quickly start this section. So great. Now, I want to run us through the process of the installation. It's very simple and straightforward. 
It's telling me, asking me to accept the terms. I don't have option. If I do, I won't. But I don't have option. I must accept the terms. So on-premise data gateway update. So I don't know why am I running an update. OK, go ahead. Yes. So the installation has started. Please wait. So it wants to do an update to download the latest version of the gateway. So this may take another couple of minutes. So I will not want this to disturb us. So I've asked Toby, Toby already have this installed on his system. So, but we'll still complete the installation together because there are some sensitive things I want us to see during the process of the installation. So let me unshare my screen. Toby, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay. So thank you very up. much, Toby. Let me quickly pick it so, up. So Toby, there. you can share your screen and you already have the gateway installed on your screen, on your mm -hmm. system. So yes. I just need you to kickstart it, please. Okay, fine. Can everybody see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. So what happened? Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. So what really happened when Mr. Yodiji is trying to install the gateway and requesting for the update is that something peculiar about gateway is that if you are using gateway in an enterprise, gateway version comes out every month, just like Power BI. So as an admin or as an IT officer in an organization, you need to update the gateway regularly every month. So it's likely maybe he has a instance, probably I can recognize that he has used the account, his, his account to uh, install one previously. So anytime you try to install another, he's trying to make an update. So now I have a version on my laptop, on my local PC on. So this is a personal gateway and I have a release of April 2020. So when you go through installing, installing a gateway, the most important thing, there are two important things in installation, and we try to demo that maybe when that is ready, you, you need to attach your installation with a particular Power BI license. That is very, very key. So, and we advise in an enterprise mode, when you are using an enterprise gateway, to attach it with uh, a Power BI admin license, not the user license. So another thing, so when you are installing, these are the status. For the example, you see on-prem data gateway personal. So as Mr. Yodidi said earlier, if you are using personal mode, it's only work for you. You can not share the report. The gateway can work with Power Apps, um, Microsoft Flow, or uh, Power Automate, or any other, any other application. It only works with uh, Power BI. And I will, I will try to iterate that you really didn't need personal gateway unless you are installing on your local PC, maybe for practice or for example. So, and why do you need a gateway? Okay, before I move to, this is status of my gateway, sign in for more information on your gateway, gateway version, stuff like that. So it's telling me that a new version is always available. So you need to update your gateway every month. And the rule about updating the gateway is that you must have at least three months back so if we are in we are still in june we are so i must have at least a pre-edition if you are using march edition as a june it's not going to work fine i'm telling now it's not going to work fine so that's one of the rules about bar bi gateway you must have at least three months back because gateway works with uh, uh the power query matchup engine so as far bi being rolled out every month there's some there's some um, functionality being input in Power BI desktop on Power Query Editor Engine. So Gateway also need to be updated by Microsoft. So this is the status. The other thing is the service settings. So it is always recommend that when you try to update your Gateway, we try to bring you back to installation because if I also try to restart now, it will take a lot of time. So it is recommend to restart Gateway every time you make changes to Gateway configuration file. So now, there's, there's another thing about Gateway. There's a key, and I'm currently on a project that is giving me a lot of issue because we cannot get the key. So when you are installing the Gateway, 
is Microsoft will require to set up a recovery key. The key is so precious. I've been trying to log on to Microsoft for complaint. You must keep your key somewhere. If the key, if the key got lost, there is nothing you can do except you move on to another gateway, and it's not so easy like that. So two things about Power BI Gateway is that you you attach it to a license. Make sure you keep your gateway key, the recovery key, somewhere else. So and these are a little bit about the setting diagnostics networks and connectors they are not too much but it's something that is just straightforward so insta the installation is pretty is pretty straightforward once you can know that two important thing you are attaching to a particular license a power bi pro license and then you must keep your recovery key somewhere else safe. so that is more more uh, uh that is so important so i think i can well, let me take it back to Mr. Yodiji, and then we can demonstrate using the gateway in the desk in Power BI service. Mr. Yodiji. Hello? Hello, oh, can you Sorry, hear me? thank you very much, Toby. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can yes, hear you. Hello, can. Toby. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, I can great. hear you. So, Thank you very much. I think the my gateway has finished installing. Okay. So immediately you download and install. This is the first screen you are going to get. So now on this screen, all what you need to do is to sign in with your detail. So let me sign in. So I will sign in with my email address. OK. Great. Okay, so I've been able to sign in. So the next thing I need to do is to configure my gateway. So to configure my gateway, the next thing, register next. So on-premise data. So I will give my gateway a name. So I'm free to give it any name. Let me say power PBI. Saturday, so gateway, GW, okay? So out to existing, don't bother. So then the next thing is going to ask for a recovery key. I remember Toby mentioned something now that he forgot his recovery key. So this is a key you must not forget. So let me type my recovery key. I will call it PBI Okay. I hope I I know what I'm typing. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. Okay. Okay. Configure, configure, configure without any stress. So, this is connecting my database on my system to the web service. If I use Power BI to design any report now and I publish that report, I'm free to use and enjoy my reports. So can you see what I have on the screen? The gateway PBI Saturday GW is online and ready to be used. So that is all I need to do. And with this, I can go straight and start enjoying my data gateway. So every other thing you have here, 
in case you've done any modification, you can come here and restart it. I guess Toby has mentioned some of these things to us. If you want to really work on some protocol, some firewall and so on, you can come over and get all of that is configured. I don't want to take us into those complexity, but the simple part is on your desktop, you can get this done and it's up and running. So the next thing to do is to quickly design a, a report. Let me see. Permit me, I may just do one page report because of time. Uh, OK, get my data, get my data from SQL Server. Get it from SQL Server. I think I have some information there. My server name is localhost. I get I guess I should have something there. Database on my local host. I don't know the database for now. Go ahead. Uh be fast. Let me check SQL server. Did I have anything on my local host? Local hosts. Uh, I hope back to my Power BI. OK, so use OK, use SA. Connect, I guess I have access. I don't have access. That's another big issue. That's another big issue. I don't have access. So I'm very sure we are we are used to SQL Server. So permit me to quickly do some sh short work around SQL Server. Let me create. No, 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 not this database. Sorry, this is another database. Ah. Uh, I don't miss Tire DG. Yes? Okay, so uh, let me, in, when you try to resolve, let me try to bring in and try to use an SA file for now. Then you can bring in your database. And then there's okay. another thing I realized uh, when trying to install the, uh, the gateway. There's another important thing is that I saw that when you try to install the gateway, uh, Microsoft was saying that your data, this gateway is in South Africa region data center. Do you know? Okay, that? yes, the region. Yes, so, yes. So I noticed also, the region. Yes, it's also very important that when we are installing the gateway, we need to know where our data center is. Because if the data yes. center is in North Europe and then you are installing a gateway in South Africa, there will be some latency issue. It's not that it's not going to work, but it's likely there will be some latency issues. So gateway is something that we, I know we are still coming back and show more demonstration because it's something that is not is not so easy like that. You need to it's easy to install, but there's a lot of things you need to know about it. So I'm just trying to show uh, generally. Okay, so th thank you very much. So as you can see, the location we have it in South African North, South African North. So I think the closest to us is Europe, somewhere there. And also, as he has mentioned, the speed also matters a lot. OK, I can see my server, localhost slash SQL server. Sorry, I've connected. I just need a small database of just one line. Let me be sure I have a database here. Good, I have enough database I can work with here. OK, demo DB. Let me see what I have in demo DB. Demo DB employee. Good. So permit me to quickly do just a page visual with this local hosts. So back to my, I'm connecting to the database and my username and password. I'm not sure of my username and password. So all I need to do under security, I want to create a new login for this purpose. So the login name is 
PBI, PBI Saturday, and the password. Okay, I guess I've done the right thing now. Don't bother to enforce any rule for now. I'm okay. So, the password does not match. Oh, so PBI Saturday, PBI S. Let me just stop there. Okay, go ahead. Quickly do that for me. Thank you for creating that account for me. Let me go back to my Power BI. Power BI, please help me log in with PBIS and my password. So this should go PBIS, cancel, get my data again. Where is it again? Get my data from SQL Server. Okay. The name of the server is localhost, localhost slash SQL Server. So go ahead. Connect with PBIS. Okay. Ah, oh, what is going on? Oh, sorry, database. Oh, Toby, and you are looking at me. PBIS. Please, anytime you are connecting, is that you use a window connection, database, or Microsoft account? I created oh. a database account for this, so I must use it. So, that should go without any issue. Go ahead. I don't have issue with you now. So which database am I working with? I want to quickly do something on DB, demo DB2. So I want to do something on demo DB2. Demo DB2, that is what I want to work with. And this demo DB2, uh, come on. I'm sorry, we're supposed to have done this before this section. But just because it's an emergency work. Okay, so these are the database I have on my SQL server. Well, I don't know, I'm trying to open one of them. It's taking time. It's taking time. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Okay, let me switch to mine and then maybe mine will work. Okay. Okay, so. so I don't know why this is taking the whole of the day. Uh, okay, let okay. me switch, to so, yeah. switch over to your screen. So if okay. I can rectify this, you'll come back. So switch over and continue so that we can get to the refreshing part of this. Okay, so hello. So I let me try to connect to an SQL server. So trying to connect to an SQL server the normal way. Pick up my server instance. Also, I have one server here. Okay, good. So that's my server name. Hi, Toby. I we can't. I can't see your screen. Oh, can any other person see my screen now? Can any other person see your screen? Yeah, I can okay. see your screen. Maybe yeah, we can see your screen. 
Maybe it's uh, I doubt if I can. I can't see your screen anymore. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe okay, it's now. Okay, now I. Okay. I'm seeing Mr. Digi's screen. Okay. Oh, are you the one with SQL server? Yes, yes, I'm yeah. the one with SQL server. Yeah, it's also on SQL server. That's okay. the screen. Okay. So I'm trying to get a database um, but I, okay i think i have one here let me check what is inside it's also an emergency most time we connect to visual studio Okay, so I think I have a table here. Yeah? So uh, let me try to look for one. Come in. This is taking eternity to load. Coming for any detail. Okay. Uh, this is not so good for uh, demo. No, no, just a page. We can get. Okay, okay. Toby. Yeah, I think one. My, my one uploaded. Minute. Okay, so I think okay. I'm good to go now. So, okay, let me let me sit back to your screen. So it has loaded, but continue to work from your hand. Don't stop, please. Okay, okay. You didn't get me to be just continue yes. to work so in case yes. there's any issue. Okay. Okay, great. So I've been able to open this. I've connected to the database, and this is what I have. I have information about customer. So just I'm not going to do anything special. So I have information about customer, the customer ID and this, and that's the only one I'm going to work with. So load this into my Power BI. Load it into my Power BI, and that's all I'm going to work with. Just a card on my, on my Power BI desktop. I will publish it. And once I publish it, we are going to schedule a refresh on this. And that will be all we're going to do. So, okay, 10 rules. Thank you for giving me my 10 rules. So, with my 10 rules, no dash, nothing, nothing. So, all I need here is give me a card. On my card, let me have a count of the number of all the names we have there. So, from what I have here, okay, come as a table. Okay, from what I have here as a table, it's just showing me one name. I think I have more than one name there. Why am I seeing one? Customer table. Give I think me the you list could, of all the customers. I need to desummarize. Mr. Lee, you did this deactivate yeah. summarize. Yeah. So deactivate. Uh, okay. The, Take it out. Give me the list of all the customers there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five, six customers. Good. I'm okay with this. I also need another one. But this time. I still need the customers. 
But for this one, I need a count of the customer. Just count the customer. There are 10 of them. So give it to me like a card. Good. So I have 10 customers and I have the names of the customer listed here. But why is this one, two, three, four, five, six? Okay. So I can confirm that with what I have in my database. But with what I have here, assumption, this is my report. And I want to publish this report that is showing me that I have 10 customers in my database. So let me save this report. File, save the report. Save it on my desktop. Come on. Okay, save this on my desktop and call it, call it demo. S P B I Saturday demo. Thank you. I have saved this. And the next thing I want to do is to publish this report. So publish. Before you can publish, then you must have an account. So I've already signed in with my account. So that's why my name is showing at the top here. Dump this in my web, my workspace. So it's publishing this to my workspace. Power BI Saturday. Thank you for doing this for me. All I need to do is to go back to my workspace. So let me see if I have it on my workspace. Uh -huh. Come on. My workspace. OK, let me check out the reports. It's fine. I have a report called Power BI Saturday Demo. So this report, if I open it up here and I go back to add more information to this report, I will only have 10 records. It's telling me 10. So permit me to come back to SQL Server, Demo DB. I guess I use customer table. Let me confirm. Right click, edit the content in the customer table. Edit the content. Come up, come up, come up. OK. So the content is trying to load up. So what we are trying to do here is this. If I add more rows, so it's telling me, thank you, I have 10 records here. So these are the names as we have them there. I want to add one more name, record number 13. The name should be Toby, Toby. So I want to have another name called DG. And one more name called Olana. Now, with the names I have here, the challenge I'm having now is this. On this record, from what I have here, I have 14 different names on this particular table. If I go to my Power BI desktop, it's still showing 10. But if I come here and I hit refresh, because my Power BI desktop is talking to my database, it can automatically update what I have here. So telling me now that I have 13 record. That means I've not committed the last one. Oh, 13, sorry, I have 13 records. So good, 13. But there is no way the one that is on the web will show me that the record is 13. This will be 10. Unless I come back to my Power BI desktop and I republish again, which you cannot keep doing every day. So I want this to take effect. Immediately I alter that database, what I have here should automatically take effect. Now, how will this work? All I need to do is to go back. Where is it? And establish my data gateway and schedule my refresh. So, under setting, where is it again? Toby, I'm Hello, looking Mr. for Ed. Gateway. Where is yes, Gateway? Under data set. 
Go under data sets. Data set of the workspace. Under my data set. Data. Where is my data set here? Okay, good. Uh, under see. data sets. Yeah. So then you can see. The yeah. Next thing I need to do is where is my click, gateway? Click on the data set. Okay. Under setting. Click on. Okay, so when you get to your setting, it's telling you data big gateway connection. So it wants to connect to my gateway. So the next thing I want to do, it has identified my PBI Saturday. So that is the first thing I want to do there. So let me work on the connection. So that is that, the description, every other thing, Go ahead, test my connection to be sure that you can see my gateway. So with what I have here, I can have successfully connected to the data gateway. So if you are using, if your database is not on-prem, it's in the cloud, no problem. So all what you just need to do, go ahead and start scheduling your, your refresh. So let's go back there. Where's my data sets? So under my setting. OK, so my data gateway connection is. Sorry, why am I still having this? Status not configured. I thought I'm done with this. Hello, Mr. Edeji. Click on the uh, the yes. navigation. Uh, the, yes, this navigation beside the J icon. Beside the J icon. The, beside the what? Okay. Beside the J icon uh, from the last one. I've done. I've done all I need to do. I thought this is done. Okay. So the data source name. Let me call it my SQL connection. Connection. That is my data source name. He's talking to SQL Server. I thought he has done this for me automatically. Where is my SQL Server? Ah, help me. I can't see SQL. Just, Come just on. That X, X. Come on. Just put on SQL. It I can't see SQL. Oh, thank you. SQL server. What is the name of my server? My server still remains local, local hosts slash SQL server. Hope you've not forgotten. That's the name of the server I'm connecting to from here. Now, the name of the database, I thought is demo, demo DB. If I'm not making a mistake, I can confirm that is demo DB. Thank you. So with that, so authentication mode, I'm using my basic authentication mode. So my username, I thought I gave it a created an account. So with this, Add it. Don't bother to save. So I hope this is up and running. OK, so with this, let me go back. I've been able to do my connection, test it. Test it, SQL connection should be working. It's not showing me whether it feels or not, but let's assume it did not feel. OK, so the next thing we need to do back to my workspace. Let me see my setting again. You should tell me my gateway connection is successful. Thank you for making this successful. Map to SQL connection. That's all I need you to map to. So the data source. Criteria. So, come on, what's wrong? Is it not responding? 
you need okay, to okay thank you you need to apply. don't yeah. it's just low don't mind the system so great so yeah. all you need to do once you establish your connection other parts will not be grayed out it's telling me i already have connection to my database parameters don't worry i do not use parameter as you can see when we're building it but this is the area i'm going to we have to schedule how often this thing should be refreshed. I want this refresh to be what? On. And the refresh should be done on daily basis or weekly basis. I want it on daily basis. So even on daily basis, which time zone am I going to use? Is there plus one, yeah? Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Aha, uh -huh, West Africa, good. I'm using my West Africa time. Now let us set the time. I want you to refresh exactly. This is 3, 350. Exactly 3 is what? 330, which has gone. 330 PM. Add another one. Also refresh by 4 PM. Also refresh. I will keep adding the number as much as I want to, but this also depends on the type of license you have. So next week, oh no, no, not next week. Somebody is talking about this next week, and somebody is going to talk, talk to us about different types of license and what you can benefit. But as far as I'm concerned, I think I don't know the number now, but at a time you can do up to 12 refresh in a day with your pro license. But I've already done my refresh. So in case there's any issue, when it's, whenever it's trying to refresh and encounter any issue, send a mail to DG at gyrecomputers.com. Go ahead and apply this. So is that all? What's wrong? Sorry, it's wrong. So don't worry, just put the correct email address and I'm done with my scheduled refresh. At the expected time, exactly 4 p.m., it's going to refresh what we have on my screen. Let me go back to my reports. Where is my reports? So go back to my reports. If I open this report, what I have on the report is still 10 at the moment because my schedule refresh has not been activated. So let's wait for that to activate. Another challenge we always have is publishing to web. Most of the time, let me quickly see what I have here. The next topic, after installing our gateway, we said we want to talk about scheduled refresh. I've just finished demonstrating how you can schedule your refresh once your gateway is is OK. So the next thing we're going to talk about, let's publish the web. And finally, let's do a web page refresh. Now, I want to publish this work to the web. So most of the time, when we click on publish to web, we may likely come up with this error. I don't know how many of us have been encountering that error lately. If you have been encountering the error publishing to web lately, please let me know. Is there any of us encountering that error publishing to web? Uh, hello, Mr. Yadeji. Yes. Uh, hello. Yes, okay. I think publishing hello. to web is. Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, so I think uh, publishing to web is an administrative issue that you need to contact the administrator yes. about security. So exactly. <laughs> That, that, that particular error message that contact your ad, contact your admin so I'll be able to publish to them. In fact, some people I already have at least one person. So somebody even said I'm the admin in my office and I still cannot publish to work. Hello? Yes. Okay. Eh? Hello. So Please, if you are admin or you can talk to your admin, as long as you can see admin portal here, all you need to do is to select your admin portal and solve that problem. Because I keep getting this call every blessed day. So once you select that, all you need to do is it 
Is it tenants? It's tenant setting. Tenant setting, thank you. So under the tenant setting, you will scroll down to where you have your embedded. Where is it? Published to work. Up, up a little bit. I'm looking up. for it. It's published. Have I passed it? Yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So publish to web under export and sharing setting. So under this, all what you need to do, you will see that you've enabled it, yet it give you that error. All you need to do is to come here and say allow existing and new codes. So once you do that and you apply, that one will solve that problem permanently. So you can always publish your report to web. Finally, if I publish my report to the web, I want that report to automatically refresh. Some companies, you are going to give them a big screen. They want to be viewing their reports. And once you put anything on the web page, let me quickly do that so that we can see. Where is my publish to web again? Where is my publish to web again? My workspace. My workspace. Where is it? Where is it? Is it my system that is slow or the network? Hello, hello, Mr. Yadiji. Just click on click yes. on the, click on the report. Uh, maybe Power BI Saturday, any one of which you you wanted to publish. Uh -huh, it's just coming up. This system is yeah. so slow. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Now I have my screen up and running. I'm waiting for 4 p.m. Three minutes more. If you can see my screen. So exactly 4 p.m. is going to do the refresh. But before you get that refresh done, I want to publish this on the web. Publish to web. Go ahead. I'm OK. Come on, come on, come on. Good. So I will copy this URL, copy the URL, and go to a web browser. Let me go to a page on the web browser and dump it there, Control V. This is the same report we have. But my question is this. The report load, 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 load. I don't like exceeding our time. OK, it's loading. Let's allow it to load. But on the browser, even if Power BI Web Service should refresh, because the browser is already showing 10, OK, it's coming up. So you might not see it. And this browser is on a big screen, it's on a big board, it's somewhere. And that information needs to keep updating itself. So all you need to do is to go to your browser and look for auto refresh. There are different types of auto refresh. So this is auto refresh, this is easy refresh, this is super refresh. I don't care any one that you have. So I think I just downloaded one. I call this one easy auto refresh for my browser. So once you download it, it will come up. So but I want the page to load before four o'clock. I'm targeting for why is this slow? Uh, OK, so let's let's assume let's assume it's loaded. Just assume with me. I will come here that refresh this page every 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds, start working. Now, what I have here, I don't need to disturb myself with this browser. This browser can be on any screen of any organization. I know that every one, one minute, this is refreshing. So my concern now is to go back to my Power BI and make sure that my Power BI web service is working and is working fine. So by four on dot, this is going to refresh and I will have my information up to date. And the same thing I will have on that browser we also be up to date. So I guess this has taken us to the end. Let's start asking questions. If you want to ask any question around what we've done, so we'll be looking at what you have on the screen. So any question, please. If you have questions, please let's feel free to ask our questions.
OK, so there is no question for now. OK, good. So I hope all what we've done, I hope is clear. So let me go and check what we have on my Power BI. Let me confirm the refresh. If the refresh is done, let me confirm if he has done that refresh. It might take up to two minutes. Okay. It's, 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 it's refreshing. Can you see that it's running that refresh? Because this is exactly 4 p.m. So it's doing the updates. So if you have complex database, complex visualization, complex analysis, don't worry. This will get your refresh done at the right time. It's doing the refresh. So once it's done with the refresh, the next thing, I hope the one on the web page is also showing. Let me confirm that. OK, good. So this also is refreshing every one, one minute, 60, 60 seconds. Great. We've done a great job. So this is still refreshing. Let's allow it to finish. It's not a big database. Why are you so slow today? Uh, I think okay. I think. OK, so questions, please. Question, you can raise your hand if you have any question. You are free to unmute and ask question. You can type it in. So let's discuss all what you feel is necessary around data gateway, around schedule refresh, and around web page refresh. Refresh in progress. And this is forward to why now? I guess latency issue. Yeah. Because of the data center. I am very sure your yeah. data center might not be in South Africa where the gateway is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is tough. So don't worry, as that is going on, next week we'll be talking about performance optimization and performance optimization will be handled by Hamed Oyelowo. So he's also an MVP on data platform. He's an MCT, master certified trainer, MVP, most valuable professional. And he'll be taking us through this section for the next one hour, next Saturday, 11th July. So let's try to make it a date with him. Oh, this is still refreshing. OK, so well, I can assure you it will complete the refresh and you have a good result out there. So thank you very much. I hope we've been able to attend to most of our issue around data gateway and visualization. So if there's no other question, please, the video will be available in for those that really want to run through the video. And for those that still want to ask question, feel free, our Kaizala page is up and running. So let's feel free to ask and interact there. And for those that will still need the access to web service, if you don't have web service to demonstrate or to practice what we have done, so get in touch with me. I see I have some account I can give out to those that attended this session. So thank you very much.